Hi, welcome to part two of my um, little helicopter build here. Basically, it's um, I've took out the original nickel battery. It was six AA batteries, uh, 7.2 volts, 650 milliamp hours, and I've now replaced them with three battery banks. Uh, two battery banks on one on each side. Them two uh, fully charged now. Um, each them two hook up to run the main motor and the controller and everything and then there's another one on the front ready to power a little um, micro camera which will be wireless micro camera 2.4 gig which will be mounted on the front of the chopper so there's two battery banks on this chopper the two, one on each side each one of them on each side is uh, 5.2 volts 2600 milliamp hours and the one in the middle is 5.2 volts 2400 milliamp hours so um, it'd be awesome to just say hey I took these battery banks and then uh, hooked up a step up board ran it straight to the motor and while our jobs are good and however um, it didn't work out perfect and uh, what happens is I'll, I'll show you here so I'll, I'll, this this does kick up so let me just kick this thing up um, let's get a good place for it now a place for this tripod oh my editing is so not going to do anything magic editing okay so the controller is set up is hooked up to this lead acid bank and is running 12 volts started out I think about nine and a half volts but is now 12 volts so I'll take the chopper out now I'll unplug it from the USBs which were charging the battery banks uh, and I will plug in the USB wires which are going to the step up board so let's have a look so original chopper minus all its heavy gear which was all that lot I took off it which was pretty heavy and then I put on the battery banks one in the middle one on either side these wires are chopped off keyboard chopped off mouse hooked up the positive and negative positive to the positive of this one negative of this one to the negative of this one Ran them both into this step up board, but unfortunately it's low amps, which is stopping me from getting full flight, is what I reckon it is, not the weight, but the actual amps getting to the controller. Um, and finally, giving me some action, so let's kick, see if we can kick this up. not too bad off battery banks but the problem with the low amps is when you try to push it further and try to get some lift there's not enough amps to go to the main rotor can't really feel any lift and that's it cut out but the problem is is you'll find is now it's cut out because it tried to suck too many amps from the battery banks they couldn't provide it so the controllers just said oh there's not enough electric coming to the circuit just cut it out and the problem is is when you try to suck too many amps from these battery banks it usually drains them like most of their use so the problem is is you just can't get off the ground not enough amps so I've just ordered uh, this board but instead of uh, instead of a low amp version which this one is I've now ordered the high amp version and when the high amp version comes, I'll resolder these wires, hook it back up, connect them to the battery banks again, and then I can see A, if it flies, and B, do the math on how much distance and flight time I'm getting more than the original um, six AAA batteries that were in it. And also, I want to see if I can get the weight of a little camera on there. Uh, you probably can't see, but this thing's actually pretty heavy. Uh, according to the math of what I've took off and now what I've put on, this is 20 grams heavier than what it was originally. Um, but I think I thought if 20 grams is about uh, two, three 
and two or three uh, AAA batteries. So if you'd have got this original unit with its original um, uh, six AAA batteries in, let's say you'd have just glued one AA, uh, one AAA battery there, uh, one AAA battery underneath the main chassis there, and let's say you snuck one there and glued it on, I reckon it'd probably take the weight to fly. And remember that this step-up board isn't uh, where this ran at 7.2 volts from the main battery, give it that extra bit of lift. I'm trying to run it at 10 volts. Um, so this at the moment will be running at 10, 10.2 volts and this battery bank will be providing say half an amp maximum. Same with the other battery bank. So that's providing one amp in total, but the step up board can only get it to two amps to feed the, the, the main controller. I'm waiting for the other step up board which will provide 3 or even 4 amps to the main controller so when when it's in the last stage of trying to take off there it'll have the power to get off the ground so um, yeah this is uh, the power bank helicopter and uh, that's my the first test was to see if it had enough power from uh, the battery banks or if it was too heavy and now that I know that it's this step up board and it needs a heavy ramp step up board I can consider that for needs in the future for example this step up board being a uh, low ampage is perfect for like little uh, TFT screens little monitor screens really light thin uh, low wattage screens where for example the higher step up board is for more amp sucking amp demanding um, uh, applications uh, you know motors and stuff so um, yeah stage two and uh, Hope um, stage three actually works because after the higher ampage being sent to it, I'm gonna have to recalculate weight if that doesn't go down. So what I'll do is I'll try to fly it um, around using the controller just by looking at it, and then after that I'll then hook it up to a laptop and fly it around with the laptop and uh, see if we can get some cool video footage. Um, I'm hoping that uh, the weights and calculations and everything will be good. Uh, it's not the best helicopter to work with, but it was free, and uh, it looked really cool. I thought that actually looked quite cool, you know, it looks like, like, little oil, you know, kind of diesel tanks or fuel tanks or nitro tanks or whatever. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, um, you know, keep an eye for this thing actually taking off and crashing into a tree. So, cool, see you later.